Fantastic, great. Awesome. And let me say, I, uh, <laughs> I enjoyed a uh, fan screening, a yeah. super fan screening of this movie. Oh yeah, Wh where, when was in it? Frankfurt, in Frankfurt. Oh yeah, there. cool. And um, there was one girl, and uh, half an hour before the end, at this epic scene between Thomas and uh, yeah. uh, Dylan, right. um, she she starts crying and she never gets it back. Yeah. So Sobbing un unconsolably. <laughs> yeah. Great. I've got uh, I've got a few little recordings mm -hmm. of uh, some of those moments from different fan screenings around. It's crazy. I mean, it really they, these fans they love these characters, you know. So it's cool that they get to have a they get to have an experience yeah. in the movie theater, which and is the cool. The loudest crying is from Frankfurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, congratulations, this is great t trilogy. So, yeah. um, what was your favorite Maze Runner moment during the shooting of all three movies? Oh, gosh, I don't know. That's hard to say, but it'd probably be that first day of the very first movie. It was my first movie. It was such like a, I remember the kind of the nerves of, oh my gosh, I had this opportunity to do a Hollywood movie. And I, I feel like I, 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 snuck, I snuck on there somehow. I tricked someone somehow. I, I don't know how I got the job, but uh, that first movie, I, I remember being such a, uh, a unique kind of moment for me, but uh, I don't know. We've had so many great moments throughout all these movies that uh, have been have been kind of really blessed to have the opportunity to to be a part of. You know, so it's fantastic. Was there any moment where you would say, "Oh my God, this is too big. I I can't do this." Never. <laughs> no, I I think. I've always been kind of ambitious, <laughs> you know, and even these movies, they're actually very small in terms of, you know, their budget and, and resources comparatively to movies, you know, that we would get compared to. Um, but uh, I like I like trying to bite off more than I can chew. <laughs> I've always liked that, even if that means getting it over your head. But we've got enough talented people around us that we can kind of handle any problems that come up. So it really just is about making the, the most authentic kind of experience in the movie theater and, and making the best thing we can as a, as a, as a family together for the, for the fans, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, during the shooting of the third one, I think, if I got it right, you have to stop for one year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what, what happened with that? Yeah, Dylan got hurt, unfortunately. It was an, it had a bad accident. And uh, it was something that, uh, you know, I think affected us all deeply, you know, it wasn't something that uh, we certainly anticipated and, you know, it made us all kind of question a little bit what we were doing and reevaluate what we did and, and the, the good news is that Dylan got back on the horse, you know, and it shows his devotion to the, the fans, to the movie series itself and he finished this thing, you know, so um, I think that's the, the silver lining to that cloud, you know. And he's so good, looking at the first scene and mm -hmm. with the car and the train, it's, it's amazing because in every, in every angle you see his face. Yeah. And this is much more better than what Daniel Craig does for uh, Robert that's right. does for James Bond, you know? And that was very important to me that, you know, we, we don't cheat. You know, we actually see that it's really them. It, it creates an element of realness to it that I think it just is hard to achieve otherwise. You, I think fans, uh, movie, movie people, movie audiences today are so kind of, you know, they're so aware of those tricks now that it's fun to kind of do it, you know. And the truth is we actually did a lot of that in VFX. That's why we could get away with doing that. Um, but uh, that was kind of the technical challenge: is how to make it feel real. How does it make it make it feel like you actually buy that Dylan is doing this crazy stuff? You know, and it's it's fun. And um, if you're looking back at uh, all three movies, do you have maybe one funny moment, something that uh, go wrong that should not go wrong? Maybe some nice uh, things from behind the camera. Yeah, there's always fun stuff. It's hard for me to pick out one particular thing, but we have this gag reel coming. We have gag reels for each of the movies, and they're always big hits online. Uh, so, you know, I would say for the fans to, um, you know, just wait. That thing's coming. There's plenty of laughs had in all these movies. We're all one big happy family, so there's a lot of joking on and off set, you know. And uh, some maybe uh, touching moment or some weird moment? Yeah, I mean, I think the touching moment was probably when we all kind of had to say goodbye to each other after this last one, you know. We all knew this was, this was it for us. Um, you know, we came here to, to do our job, to say our farewell to not just, you know, the story and characters, but, you know, our fans, you know. And that was kind of a, a bittersweet moment. We're all excited to move on to something new, but uh, we're also kind of happy to have had this experience together for the last four years. And if you, you would maybe wake up someday in a maze, mm -hmm. what would you do then? I'd probably start building. That's what I would do. I love building things. So I'd stay on the glade. I'd be a galley, basically, in that first movie. And I'd just sit there and build things all day long. <laughs> okay. One more question? Yeah. Question? Okay. Um, if you're looking back at um, also the um, 
yeah, thing between all, all the actors. I think um, you mentioned it because uh, you, you become some kind of a family. So did you see each other again after the shooting of the movie or is it just everyone, everybody, everybody goes to his own projects and is now uh, gone? Yeah, there's always a little bit of scattering that happens. Everyone goes on to their different projects and stuff. But, you know, it's, it is interesting. That even with each movie, we always, when we get back into it again, it just feels like we never left each other. It was a really kind of close bond between everybody. We shared a really kind of fantastic experience together. So we'll have that for the rest of our lives, I think. So even though we might not ever see each other all the time, I think when we do see each other, we'll pick up right back where we left off and it'll just be kind of happy times again. So I'll always be thankful for that that uh, that opportunity, you know? Thank you so much. Yeah, man, Great thanks, story. pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank